Hi folks, welcome to Economic Observations. My name is Chris. It is the 15th of December. It is also my birthday. So I am here to just spread a little joy. Tomorrow I am going to the hospital to have this little piece of tonsil removed. So I don't know how long my recovery is going to be, but I thought I'd share with you some things that I have on my mind. Okay, so let's see. Sometimes I repeat that I am concerned about spending. And I'm not concerned in a way that, I'm just concerned about spending in general. It's not for stimulus, it's not for unemployment. It's overall, right? It's tax breaks to corporations. It's loans and borrowing of corporate money and, you know, giving them added benefits when our deficit and our debt clock is just absolutely nuts. On, on August 15th, 1971, Richard Nixon detached the dollar from the gold standard. And ever since then, the money printing has gone wild. Or not printing, we don't print it anymore. The money creation has just been out of control. And this concerns me because with the money printing or the money creation, inflation is skyrocketing. And it's skyrocketing to proportions we've never seen before. And I'm just gonna give you an example and let you think about it before an, my next video where maybe I'll go more into depth. But before 1971, people bought what they can afford. Right? Americans had a decent living. Right? The husband went to work and the mother stayed at home and they had an apartment and they were able to have food and a car and go out to eat once in a while. But they lived simply, but they were able to do it. Once the dollar came off the gold standard, women started going to work as well and they were able to save some money with two parents working, and it was still a better situation than it is today. By the mid-1980s, two parents, or two members of the household, were going out to work, and they couldn't save anything anymore. They were just barely keeping up with their expenses. And by heck, by the 1990s, both parents were working, and they had to go into debt to afford things. Right, to buy their children a Christmas gift or to you know, buy a car or whatever it was. Right? They had to go into debt. There were no more savings. And well, heck, by 20, 2010, people couldn't even afford an apartment anymore. People couldn't afford to buy a house. The minimum wage, the federal minimum wage is still $7.25. Who the heck can live on $7.25 an hour? That is absolutely criminal in today's day and age. And we have the American government telling us that inflation is under control. I am sorry, folks. You know it as well as I do. A home is out of reach for millions of people. Rent is out of reach for millions of people. The hell with a car or even some rice and some beans are out of reach for lots of people. There are people working two full-time jobs, God bless them, and they still can't afford an apartment. And this is people in every state in the country. The inflation and the amount of debt, because inflation is created when money is created. There's just more of it out there, and the prices rise but not everything rises with it. But you know what else should be rising with inflation? Taxes. Corporations should be paying their fair share of taxes. Rich people should be paying their fair share of taxes. Instead of give, giving tax cuts, it should be given tax increases. Everyone has to pay for this inflation that's going on, for the money creation we are never going to get out of this. And every time we create money, we create an IR, IOU. And the IOUs double every time we create money because we have to create money to pay back the prior debt. 
So you start off at 1 billion and then it's 2 billion and then it's 4 billion and then it's 8 billion and then it's 16 billion and 32 billion and now we're talking trillions of dollars. We just can't keep, we cannot keep creating money like this. What happens when one country or one investor, someone who owns our debt, says, I want out, I want my money. What happens when four of them do? And every time you create debt, you have to find more and more people to buy it. We're running out of people to buy the debt. We're running out of countries to buy the debt. I think countries are worried that we won't be able to pay back. Think about the inflation. Think of how much it costs to buy a house from 1971 to now. And think of how much income has been raised. It hasn't not on a proportionate scale. And when you listen to the government come out with these bogus numbers, whether it be the BLS, the labor statistics with unemployment, or inflation numbers, the Fed is a Ponzi scheme. It is a huge, huge Ponzi scheme. And you know something? Madoff, he went under. Ponzi schemes are not meant to last. And geez, a Ponzi scheme by our own government? Really? How is this going to end? Yes, I always tell you that it's really frightening when you see millions upon millions of people losing their housing, not having enough food, not having shelter, not having jobs. It is really scary. But what you see are trillions of trillions of dollars in debt by our own country. And all it's going to take is one slight adjustment that's going to set the world on fire. Because when our dollar devalues to nothing, what are we going to do then? Look at the Deutsche Mark. It went to nothing. People using it as wallpaper at one point. Our currency is not backed by anything. It's just a piece of paper that we put trust in, that we put value in. The whole world just trusts it but it has no intrinsic value. And our dollars could be wall wallpaper one day, one day too. I don't want to scare anybody, but you think about it, you know, if China or any of our other debt holders want out one natural disaster away. We don't know when it's going to happen, but folks, it's got to happen. That's why people are buying gold. That's why I own some gold, because gold holds its value, and you own it, and it's yours. Because when the dollar devalues, just wait, all these corporations that are in debt, and the stock market, and everything is just going to go, just going to go like dominoes. And it's not just going to be us, it's going to be the whole world. And some countries who are not in debt with the dollar might do very well. But we, America, it's not pretty. Anyway, these are things that are on my mind. I thought I'd share them with you. Have a wonderful day. I miss you all. Thanks for watching. I'll be back again as soon as I can. Leave a comment below, subscribe, and we'll talk again soon. Thanks for watching.